Hello viewers, welcome to Engineering Study Materials. Today we are going to discuss about the direct numerical control. In short, we can say that if a machine tool is controlled by a computer through a set of codes, it is called as a direct numerical control. In olden days, this was the popular method of controlling the machine tools in industries. It consists of a mainframe computer that was used to, to control a number of the NC machines. NC machines such as a drilling machine, milling machine, reaming, boring, etc. These machines are controlled by a set of instructions by a central computer or a subcomputer which, uh, which is uh, set for the particular machines and the subcomputers are controlled by a central computer. The part programs are directly entered into the computer without using the punch tapes. In olden days, the punch tapes are used for the in uh, feeding instructions are given as a out input for the uh, machines to control the process. Um, nowadays, the programs are uh, set in a uh, set of instructions are given to the uh, computer as an input so that it can control the NC machines. The processing and post processing of the part program is performed in a computer itself. This enables a programmer to modify and edit the program. So what are all the components of the DNC? First, a central computer used to control the set of instructions and bulk memory for the storage of the instructions, telecommunications lines for the communication between the subs subsystems or subcomputers and machines to the, the central computer then machine tool machine tool such as drilling milling reaming boring lathe etc functions of the dnc numerical control without punch tap and nc part program storage data collection processing and reporting to the machine or a computer and then communications using the communication lines and advantages of the direct numerical control are elimination of the punch tap reading great computational capability because a central computer controls all the instructions that are enabled within the system and convenient storage of the part programs a large set of programs in various large sizes can be stored in a single central computer because the storage capabilities of the central computer is more than the punch tap and then reports on shop performance the performance of the uh, individual machines can be obtained from the central computer itself without checking the individual machines by direct contact then so computer numerical control cnc can be defined as a nc system for a single machine tool that uses a dedicated computer control by stored instructions in the memory so that it can implement nc functions then what is a CNC machine? Simply, it is a machine that performs operations by a set of instructions by a computer so that we can do n number of operations from that. Then this is a CNC system which consists of a machine tool table which consists of two or more screws First one servo motor which is used to control the lead screw by moving uh, used for moving the machine tool table from front and back and feedback transducer is present on the lead screw so that if uh, uh, to give the feedback of the machine tool table and the servo motor two servo motors and feedback transducers are present and the machine tool table is present over the top. And it consists of a machine control unit, um, an MCU. It contains DPU and CLU. It, DPU consists of the ROM to control the program and execute. It obtains the program and controls and then executes. And RAM, it is a part program stored temporarily. And CLU, it interpolates. What is interpolate? If um, if we provide a 10 set of instructions, it chooses the uh, correct order of instructions and interpolates. If we want to drill a 5 mm uh, dia hole, then we want to switch over to 5.5. It it uh, 
it are it interpolates automatically without feeding instructions for the 5.5 mm dia just we put 5.5 as a value then control the output signals and amplifier or comparator circuits then the mcu is uh, turned to program input device first this starts from this only part program is in uh, is fed into the program input device that is a computer then the control unit obtains the program from this and uh, sends to the machine machine system it consists of part program program input device machine control unit drive system machine tool and feedback system then types of cnc machines based on the feedback control it is divided into the open loop system and closed loop system open loop system means with without boundary and closed loop system is within the boundary and based on the motion control it consists of positional paraxial continuous path system then based on the power drive hydraulic system electric system pneumatic system and based on the circuit technology it converts consists of analog system and digital system based on positioning absolute positioning and incremental positioning system then based on axis two axis three axis four axis and five axis constructional features first machine structure then slideways and guideways actuation systems feed drives and spindle drives these are all the shown in this diagram itself then comes to machine structure machine structure is the first load carrying capacity structure is the machine tool table itself is a, a it's an tell as an example and its function is to transmit the forces to the foundation example it includes bed column and other supporting members slide ways or guide ways it is used to, to control the line of action of the carriage or table on which the tool or workpiece is held and to absorb the static and dynamic forces and guide ways should possess good rigidity so that it can withstand the large amount of forces otherwise it will collapse and damage the entire machine types of guide ways such as flat guide ways v guide ways dovetail guide ways cylindrical guide ways more number of guide ways also present because it, uh, innovation takes every day an anti friction linear motion guide ways linear bearings with balls and roller guide ways recirculating ball bushings guide ways and hydrostatic guide ways such as oil lubricated guide ways and air bearing guide ways next actuation system actuation system are used to, to convert the rotational moment into translation moment screw and nut that is a recirculating ball screws recirculating roller screws and rack and pinion feed drives used to provide motion they are servo motors stepper motors linear motors servo motors includes ac dc brushless dc stepper motor includes variable reluctance type permanent magnet type and hybrid type and then spindle drives the function of spindle is to deliver the power to hold and to center the workpiece tool in the machine table spindle should be less in weight otherwise it will not used to transmit the forces the accuracy of the spindle depends on the quality of the bearings if we provide the more quality precision bearings we can get the perfect accuracy of the spindle drive then the characteristics of the spindle drive high rotational accuracy fast dynamic response excellent running smoothness and compactness high loading capacity so this is a short video friends if you like this video please hit a thumbs up button and share this video to your friends to gain knowledge and please subscribe this channel for more interesting videos so finally thank you for watching